let's see a question from integration so whenever you see something inside tan inverse and a definite integral is there think of these two formulas first one is tan inverse x plus y divided by 1 minus xy this gives you tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of y and the second one is tan inverse x minus y divided by 1 plus xy this gives you tan inverse x minus tan inverse y so which formula to use is decided by the sign on this place if it's a minus sign here it will be a plus okay uh, it will be a plus here and if it's a plus sign here it will be a minus sign here so alternate things work so if we come back to our question so the main idea is just make two integrals from one integral how can we do that we can rewrite this as uh, 0 to 1 okay this can be written as tan inverse of uh, 2x minus 1 let this be as it is in the first step in denominator first term as it is from second and third term I can take x common I will be left with 1 minus x now I told you because we have a plus sign here we will go for the second formula now with the help of this x and this 1 minus x we have to write this numerator so that we can use the formula so how can we do that how can we make 2x minus 1 from x and 1 minus x? It's simple. Because you know that uh, the sign here will be minus. So what we can do is tan inverse uh, 2x minus 1. How can we get that? Can we write this as 1 minus x minus x? So this is not working because this is 1 minus 2x. So what as we can try? So we can go for uh, x minus 1 minus x. I think this will work because you will be getting 2x minus 1 which is there in the numerator. And in denominator 1 plus x times 1 minus x dx. Now this is clearly of the form tan inverse x if uh, the formula is in terms of a. So tan inverse a minus b divided by 1 plus a b. So the second formula will be used. So we can rewrite this as 0 to 1 tan inverse of first minus tan inverse of second which is 1 minus x. Now we can uh, do one thing we can separate this into two integrals. So the first integral will be 0 to 1 tan inverse of x 
dx and the second integral will be 0 to 1 again tan inverse of 1 minus x dx. Now let first integral remain as it is. Coming to the second integral, in second integral if we see, let's rewrite the first integral as it is. So it is 0 to 1 tan inverse x dx. minus. Now we know one property that integral 0 to a fx dx equals to 0 to a f of a minus x dx. Okay. So let's uh, move to the next page for better clarification. So we have first integral as 0 to 1 tan inverse x dx. Second integral we had 0 to 1 tan inverse 1 minus x dx. Now I told you to leave first as it is. So 0 to 1 tan inverse x dx plus uh, I think there was a minus sign in between. So minus sign minus sign. 0 to 1. Now if I use this property so I can write uh, this integral as tan inverse replace x by a minus x. So I have to replace x by 1 minus x. dx. So you can see sometimes the pain lags. So it uh, causes a lot of irritation while solving question. Same is happening in this question also. So, if I simplify this, I will get 1 minus 1 minus of x. So, this will be 1, 1 cancel and you will get a plus x. So, this integral is nothing but tan inverse x. So, 0 to 1 tan inverse x dx minus 0 to 1 this simplified this bracket simplified to x so this integral simplified to tan inverse x dx so that's simple because uh, this two will get cancelled out and you will finally get a 0 cool question no problem whatsoever in this particular question because in the end everything reduced to just a zero. So we don't have much problem. We just used one property of definite integration and that was this particular property. 0 to a fx dx is equal to 0 to a f of a minus x dx and just the observation that we can convert this one integral into two and because there was a minus sign in the middle so this uh, both the things because they are same so same quantity when subtracted gives you zero so zero is your final answer so i hope you understood this question so whenever next time you see a definite integral or even a simplification question where tan inverse is there so just think of these two formula if there is a plus sign you will go for minus here if there is a minus sign you will go for plus here and you will simply solve this question i hope you understood this question thanks and have a very nice day